Hey, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Zana from Tarot, Tarot to do yet another read for you all. It seems like you and Aries are just hogging the spotlight for some reason. I don't know what's going on. You got chaos, pandemonium going on in your lives. What's what's happening? All right, so we're going to do um, something a little different. I'm going to pull from this book of spreads, you know, deck of spreads that I created. Um, so we're going to pull a spread for you all and see what's going on. Sagittarius, what is the deal? What is the deal? Uh, we have the how to find new love. Okay, so for the Sagittarius who want to find new love, it's a four card spread. Um, we are going to, oops, we're just going to shuffle like a shitty shuffler. How about that? Seriously, seriously, I'm not joking. I can't shuffle for shit. All right, so what? Why do these cards keep flying out? Temperance keeps flying out. Temperance has to do with patience. Patience. So maybe it's calling for you to have patience in this situation. They got a tower card, the burden. I don't know. Um, you've gone through a tower moment, big, big tower moment where everything just fell apart. Did something feel like a burden? All right. So how to find new love. dogs better not I'm telling you right now I will flip out I'm not kidding flip it I'm gonna flip out they're gonna have a tower moment all right so so how to find new love um, what's stopping you from finding love um, it could be your attitude it could be um, your bluntness your you could be coming off as bitchy um, what can help you find love um, be more loving um, offer love you know don't be cold and hold back um how where can or you can identify your lover now a lot of you i'm just gonna say this um if you could actually meet someone at the beach and the reason i say this um or at any kind of event in which like like a children's party or something or the birth of a child um the sun is out so i think of beaches and being out in the sun and having fun and just acting like a kid. Um, and then here's a garden here too, so maybe, <laughs> I don't know, something to do with gardens, a, a garden party, if they even have those such things anymore. Um, garden party, that's like an old thing. But, um, or at a gardening store, or in an actual garden, I don't know. Maybe you're gonna stop by a farmer's market. Um, advice, outcome, future of this affair. Um, this particular, the next one, I guess I should say, um, is going to have you looking at all your options. Advice and outcome. So the advice would be to, to look at your options carefully because see how there's all these different options here and he can't, he's got his back turned over so he can't decide, or I guess it's a he, I don't know. He, she can't decide because there's all these different pretty things and all the cups through you know but this one actually isn't so pretty it's got a snake coming out of it and this one actually looks like it might have a poisonous mushroom coming out of it. so maybe not everything is as it appears um, so it almost shows like see how the, everything is in a cloud too it's very confusing not easily you know not easy to see not easy to decipher um, it's usually a card of wishful thinking um, pie in the sky dreams and ideas. So, um, Sag, what is the deal? How to find true love? The basic, the basic thing is how, what can help you find love is basically to just be more open and loving and offer love. Um, crack open <laughs> that that cold heart if you got one. Sagittarius aren't really known for being cold though. That's the thing. I mean, I guess if you had, if you had Venus in Aquarius, if you are Sagittarius with Venus in Aquarius or Venus in Scorpio, maybe, possibly, you might come off as a little chilly. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know about that. So, um, I'm going to do this. If you're going to do um, the person on your mind, I want you to think of somebody. Have that one person you want to know about. And then we're going to do, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about Sag?
they feel see we already did this for you guys I just did this for you and the same thing came up so the person you're thinking about they love you they freaking love you I don't know what the problem is I forget what the other reading said the problem was what are their or what's what do they think of you overall what do they think of you overall but they love you this person loves you and in fact if I remember correctly the last card what their actual actions were is um wasn't it the Knight of Wands? They wanted to like offer you sex, basically. They they wanted to Why did this thing just Okay. I'm just gonna keep reconnecting. We're still going. I got a low battery warning, that's what happened. Um, so what do they think of you overall? They think They think you have something to offer, but they think it's not that big of an offering because pages are um you know the least amount and pentacles have to do with um money and things of value so they may kind of think that you're a little bit poor <laughs> not poor but that there's not a that's awful man they think of you as somebody who doesn't have boatloads to offer but they still love you so they love you despite um you not having like a lottery winning going on. <laughs> um, so what are their intentions with you? Um, to be act suspicious and cautious. What the crap? What are you dealing with a Virgo? Um, so their actual actions with you, their actual actions with you. <laughs> there it is again. So basically Sages, I'm just going to answer this question for you again. Yes, they love you, and yes, they want to. They're horny. <laughs> you have a, a horny person who's in love with you. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so let's do six cards, Donna's Destiny, because it's the same thing I just told you yesterday. Same thing, same person, same readers watching this. <laughs> they love you, and the dogs and cats are going to piss me off. Y'all, Rosie. Leave them alone. All right, so six cards, Donna's Destiny cards, and Rosie's going to behave herself. Text them, apparently. That's you're supposed to be told to do that. Oh, my God, I can't shuffle for shit. What the fuck? Um, let me try this one more time. So six cards, that's one. So text them. I guess to get a booty call. I don't know. They love you. Um... New clothes. What? Everybody keeps coming up with the new clothes card. I don't know. I've got, look at all these cards, and everybody keeps coming up with that card. That one, and buy the shoes. So I guess you're all supposed to go out and... But it'll say save your money at the same time. <laughs> Wedding bells. All right. Okay, Sedge. Play music to lift your spirits. I just got that for Aries. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries or some of the Aries placements. Um, make the call. And... They like to have their cake and eat it too. We just got that for Aries. All right, so I don't know who y'all are dealing with, but um, so Sag, who are we who are we reading for next? And there's 12 signs, so let's make it somebody else. Okay, Pisces. Thank God, somebody besides Aries and Sag. Jesus, y'all, driving me crazy. All right, so love you, Sag. Um, and thanks again for everything. And oh, we're only at eight minutes. Let's do an oracle card. Let's do an oracle card. Just so I'll give you a little something extra here. Okay, so nine. What is nine? That is that is the steampunk deck. That's a um, that's not an oracle card. That's a well. Let's just do a card from it and see what what information we can get off of it. Because um, this is a regular tarot deck. Um, so steampunk. Huh? Let's take a look and see what card. <coughs> I swear to God. Rosie! Behave. Leave them alone. Oh my God. Guys, I'm sorry. All right. Well, this card, I guess, is the one that wants the Page of Wands. All right, so pages are messengers and wands are action cards, and Rosie is about to get my foot as action up her butt if she doesn't knock it off. Um, so Page of Wands. Um, can you see that? Okay, so, so there might be a message. Um, there's probably going to be a message coming through to you. Why does it look like there's a 
a unicorn horn there. I have got to take a closer look at this. What in the world is going on here? Um, okay, that's no, that's just the monocle. So, yeah. So you're going to be getting a message from someone about um, some type of. I think they want to go. They want to ask you out to do something, something fun. It looks like. So you're going to get an invitation to go out and do something. Um, but text them, make the call, get some new clothes because you're going out and do something fun. All right. All right, um, Sag, I think it was just Sag, right? <laughs> I'm so lost now. Um, so we're doing Pisces next. I love you guys, and um, thanks again for everything. All right.